welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today I'm doing birth of month 2024 reading so the way this reading will work is based on your birth month is the pile that you can select and all the information on which pile it is so here pile number one is January April July October Pile two is February, May, August, November, and pile number three is March, June, September, December. So depending on which birth month is relevant for you, you go to that pile and that is where you will find your reading. So these readings will be time stamped and um, please feel free to share this with your loved ones, your family, your friends. They can also go and have a look at what is coming in store for them for 2024. This is a general reading. This is not a one-to-one -one reading. So if you would like to book a private reading for 2024, currently I am offering private readings which will cover money, love, career, all three areas. The information is in the description box should you wish to book. For those of you that would like to take part in the full moon ritual, so for the full moon in December, which is on the 27th of December in Australia, I am in Australia and that's the time zone I follow, I am running a manifestation ritual. The information for the manifestation ritual is in the, in the communities tab or you can comment hashtag full moon in the comment section and I will share the information on how you can register if you'd like to be part of that manifestation ritual. That ritual will be focusing on what you would like to manifest in 2024. These are all tools and techniques I've used for a number of years for myself and I have been running these rituals for a very, very long time for the collective and a lot of people have experienced lots of different things from the various rituals. But for the December ritual, we are focusing on manifestation for 2024. Now, the way this reading will work, I will be pulling specific cards for the overall energy for 2024 for you and then also be pulling some oracle cards. So that's a little bit about the reading. Without further ado, let's get into pile number one. Pile number one, welcome to your reading. So I was just looking at the time. So Spirit, six cards for my beautiful pile number one for 2024, please. Overall energy. Lots of cards want to come out, pile number one in your reading. <clears throat> I'm doing a special spread that has been channeled and downloaded. For your reading lots of cards want to come out for you you have very strong energy I'm just going to put that there so you can see I hope you yeah that's better so you can see the cards because I really want you to see the cards Perfect. We've got the cards. Yay. So pile number one, how are you feeling? How are you feeling closing out December and moving into January? Let me know. Wow. Pile number one, your overall energy for 2024 is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. I absolutely adore and love this card for you. The Ace of Pentacles in the traditional tarot deck, you see there is a hand coming out from the clouds with the universe holding onto this pentacle this is a golden opportunity this is a brand new beginning this is something that is in the physical form so it's not um this is a new job a new career a new side hustle a new form of income for some of you take what resonates for your individual circumstance because this is a collective read but this is beautiful this is a fresh start of something solid that is going to bring abundance, prosperity, wealth in 2024 for you. So your overall energy is brand new energy plus that of abundance and prosperity. You might want to claim this in comments. Now, 2024 is the year that you will be really focusing on building your wealth, your pentacles, 
your money. So the eight of pentacles is about working. So by no means is 2024 a year of walking in the park, but I feel like whatever work you're doing, it is going to be recognized. It is going to give you, you will have this special edge. There is something special that you're doing. You can see how he is adding those final touches to the pentacles. So it's about that finesse. It's the final touches, if you will. So whatever you're doing in 2024, it's going to set you apart and bring more money and abundance towards you. That's the message that Spirit is giving to me for you. That is really beautiful and powerful. Oh my golly gosh, look at this. What you don't see coming is the chariot. So with these three cards, I have to share this, that some of you might be moving for work or traveling to a different place of work. Um, the chariot card is also a brand new beginning. So this is you moving forward. So maybe some of you are finally starting that business, are finally starting that creative venture, that project that you had for, that you were working on or thinking about for a long period of time. Some of you, this is definitely a physical move. This could also be travel on the road or long distance travel is also what I'm picking up to do with work or to do with your... Um, creative venture. So I feel like for a lot of you with this chariot card, you will be spending a lot more time on the road traveling for the purposes of your work or your passion project to really build the pentacles. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You now have two aces. You've got the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles. This is so beautiful. Pile number one. Pile number one, definitely new beginnings, but new beginnings in more than one area. Now, for some of you, this could be a new beginning in something that you love doing. So this, as I said, you might start your own business in the area that you love doing. So that could be the one. But the other message is some of you are manifesting new love, new romance. So if you're looking for love and romance, definitely claim this in comments because there is new love coming towards you. 2024, I feel like is the year of jumpstart. It's like clean slate, fresh new beginnings, excitement. There is this um, shift in energy which is lighter, more exciting, more adventurous, particularly with the chariot card. Even with the chariot and the ace of cups, some of you, maybe your partner or the person that you're dating is in a different city or lives not right next in the same suburb as you. You might even travel to see them. So that's something I'm picking up. 2024, I feel like a lot of you will be traveling. Whether it's internationally, locally, there is just this sense of spending time um, in car. What I'm seeing is cars, airports, and trains. That's what's coming up. Your biggest piece of advice for 2024 is slow and steady wins the race. So don't get disappointed if you start to start doing something. Say, for example, you start your new business and straight away you can't see the results. Spirit is saying, that's okay, pile number one. Slow and steady wins the race. You don't want to be going so hard, so fast that you end up burning yourself out. This is talking about the more you tend and nurture the garden, the more green your grass will be. Can you see that he's got green greenery all around him, but this is all bare. So the more you tend water, nurture, put the fertilizer, because he is holding the pentacle, the more rewards you're going to get, not just immediately, but in the longer term. So that's your biggest piece of advice that don't fo focus on short term gains, focus on the longer term vision, longer term goals, longer term growth, long term success. Because whatever you build on solid foundations, whether it's love, career, money you will see the results not just immediately but in months and years to come this is about building a solid foundation and legacy same thing with love particularly with this is this is a this is someone who may you may not even know is interested in you they're coming very slowly you may not even know that they're interested in you but this is someone who wants to make a deep committed offer that is why they haven't made themselves known because maybe 
pile number one, they're working out, well, how can I woo pile number one? How can I get their attention? How can I ask them out? So they really, they are going to move forward because the chariot card is right above it. So th this is saying progress, growth, and momentum and movement, this whole reading. But it's that of brand new beginnings. So just like a child, if you think of a baby that gets born, day one, they don't know how to feed themselves. They don't know how to clean themselves. They don't know how to walk or talk. So that is kind of the example, because when you bring something new to the world, it's about that nurturing. It's about tending that garden and building it. And that's your biggest piece of advice for 2024. Okay. Wow. I mean, you've got two aces and two major arcanas. This is so, so beautiful. Some of you are definitely doing a lot more travel in 2024 and you're traveling the world. I definitely see some of you might be working for companies that might also be global or your business is on a global platform. The other message I'm picking up with the world card is for some of you that you will be working with social media or something to do with social media or have an old global audience. So say you might be selling things on Etsy or you might have a YouTube channel, in which case you are connecting through your services, your gifts, your business on a global level. And that's what this world card is saying. Now, for some of you, this is also a message in relation to love that the person that you meet or how will you know this is your person, they may have a different background to you, or they may be in a different suburb or even country for some of you, or they may be from a different country originally. So that's how you will know who this person is, if that's what you're thinking of. But look at this, you've got in this triangle here, Eight of Pentacles, Chariot and the World Card, I see travel relating to work or social media or something that you're doing on a global platform. If I look at it this way, whatever you're building needs to be built on solid foundation, whether it is your business, money, career, or whether it's a brand new relationship, love and romance. Because the more you tend to it, water it, feed it, the better the results will be for you. This is such a beautiful and powerful reading. I'm really loving this for you. Okay, so let's pull you some Divine Abundance cards for pile number one. Divine Abundance cards. Pile number one, spirit, message, trust. I love this. Can you see that butterfly? I really feel that that's you, ready to take flight, particularly after completing a cycle. For some of you, this is also completion. Like if you look at the two, the pentacle and the world card, to me, I feel like you've completed a cycle. At the end of a difficult period is what the spirit is giving to me. So say if you had inconsistent income or if you had... Um, in you know you didn't have a job full-time job or a permanent job all that is coming to an end you've completed that cycle what you need to do or know about is that you need to have trust and faith within yourself and your abilities knowing that you can do it and you've got it in you that's the biggest piece of advice from spirit the card says allow me divine to give you my deepest longings trusting you to know exactly how to handle them so Spirit is giving you the gifts that you're now ready to receive, pile number one. These are two gifts from the universe, a cup and a pentacle. So not only will you be financially stable and growing and working on your pentacles, this is the year of love, of joy, of happiness, of emotional balance and equilibrium. So claim that, claim that in comments, let me know. Let's pick you a romance message for pile number one spirit. Wow, half the deck wants to come out pile number one. Very strong message, messages from spirit. Message for pile number one spirit. There's like three, four, five cards that want to come out. <laughs> one card please. Oh. Again, five cards want to come out. Lots of messages for you. Whoa. 
Okay, I'll just have to take this because Spirit is saying, it is what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot make this up. Look at that, trust, two different decks, trust. So 2024 is the year to trust for you. This card says, this situation is calling for you to have faith. So for those of you in love, I feel like you're ready, but Spirit is asking you to trust and have faith that everything is fine and in working order and divinely guided. Children, beautiful. Your love life is being affected by children. So maybe you will have children or want to have children or maybe that's something the new partner relationship will desire. Heart to heart conversations. This is about the Ace of Cups as well. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So if there's someone you fancy, honestly let them know. Because if they don't know, you can't take that situation any further. And your final card is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is the world card, the completion card. So for some of you, you will be completing a cycle and then you'll be able to welcome your Ace of Cups. That's the message that Spirit is giving here. Couple of announcements. If you'd like to be part of, I'm running a full moon manifestation ritual on the 27th of December, which will be focusing on manifesting what would you like to manifest in 2024? So it's the whole ritual will be focusing on your 2024 manifestations. If you would like to be part of that, information is in the communities tab or you can comment hashtag full moon. If you would like to book a private reading, I'm offering something special whereby you get guidance on all three areas of love, money and career. If you would like to book that, the information and the booking link is in the description box. If you would like to follow me on social media, donate to my channel. All the information is in the description box. And if you'd like to come to Bali, email me. So those are the key announcements. Bali is happening in April 2024. I'm taking a very small hand-picked selected group of people, four people, to join me in Bali for the most amazing epic experience where we will be closing out airy season with a bang. Um, and spending a week together doing lots of fun things. So if you desire information on that, please email me. That's the best way. Thank you so much, pile number one. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you so very much. And I wish you an amazing 2024. Welcome, pile two, to your reading. I'm also keeping tabs on time. Thank you for being here. So today's reading is focused on your birthday month. So if your birth, this reading pile number two is for you. If your birthday is in February, May or August, then pile number two is relevant for you. Just moving pile one away so that your energy is here. So six card spread that has been channeled for this reading. For pile number two so already there are lots of cards that want to come out and they're kind of stuck with each other so that could be a message take what resonates this is a collective read not a private personal one-to-one -one reading please like share subscribe so that you get notified when the next reading becomes available i'm doing lots of different readings for 2024 um, and also there's always different readings coming up on the channel so if you hit the notification bell and subscribe you get notified and it doesn't cost you anything okay so pile number two so your overall energy for 2024 is the king of cups this is really beautiful energy so your overall energy showing up as the king of cups to me this is very balanced very generous very kind energy is what i'm picking up so this is the year where the biggest message spirit is giving to me is if in the last couple of years you felt 
imbalance or you felt like emotion emotionally not supported this year things will be different you will feel more like yourself and you will be very much focusing on coming whatever you do or respond to in this in 2024 it will be from a place heart-based energy so it will be based on how you feel about things how does it sit with you your values and how it makes you feel so very beautiful energy for you for 2024 and um, what is coming towards you is your ships are coming in. So this to me, there are things that you have been working on or may have been working, doing work on even now before the year is out. You will finally start to see the fruits of your labor in 2024. So say, for example, um, you started a YouTube channel and or are looking to start a YouTube channel. You start gathering, you know, you, you may do all your learn how to do the videos, learn certain things, how to run a channel. And then in 2024, you start to see that people are subscribing to your channel, your community is growing. That's kind of the vibe that I'm picking up for some of you. Others of you I'm also picking up in terms of job, although King of Cups is not a pentacle vibe, Spirit is giving me the message that you will have different job opportunities. So if you're looking to change jobs or looking for better opportunities, 2024 will be the year where you will be getting you will be spoiled for choice. You will have options. I see at least three options for you in 2024 in terms of work. So that's really good. Yeah, so a lot of your focus in 2024 is to be to do with work. A lot of you are finessing, you know, finessing your artwork. When I say artwork, I'm not saying physical artwork, but say for example, even if you um, own a store, maybe you will you're working on getting an online website set up as well so it's adding those extra things that will bring more income to you also i'm seeing you calibrate with other people you will really benefit this year by working with other people because the more you work with other people they will be able to help you to achieve your goals sooner and quicker so if you're looking to time collapse see it as an investment because but sometimes we forget that time is just as valuable as money because once we lose the time, we can't get the time back. So it's that energy. Spirit is giving you a strong message that, you know, you may benefit to get to your results quicker if you work with other people who might be experts. Say you might not know how to build a website. So this is the case where you would bring other people to build a website whilst you work on the product. So you work on, you know, making the service even better or adding more different services um, to your existing service catalog product service whatever the case may be okay wow definitely new job opportunities like these job opportunities could be with a fire sign could be aries leo sag um or you maybe you might have one of those placements in your chart i'm not sure but ace of ace of wands is a brand new beginning this is my card of new job new career new creative venture so if you are looking to start that 2024 is going to be a very potent year particularly with the eight of pentacles and the ace of wands right next to each other i really feel that this is going to be the year where you'll be able to make a mark in whatever it is that you're birthing into the world people will see you there's something that you're bringing to the table which is unique and innate to you and your abilities and people will see that people will see that in your offering so that is something there is something special about your skill set that you are sharing and people really like that and i also see a lot of you are perfectionists and you're very meticulous when in the work that you do and that is something that is deeply appreciated by your employers or even people that you provide the service to if you're offering services now your biggest piece of advice in 2024 is to slow down you might also um be dealing with people from pile number one but um or you may have you may be collaborating or partnering with people from pile number one but or you might want to see that reading but the knight of pentacles because this knight of pentacles came in the exact same position for pile number one as well so this knight of pentacles here in this position is telling me that in 2024 this is all about solid foundations this is about you building something that will last you working on something that will give you real tangible results for years and decades to come 
The word legacy is coming up, particularly with these two cards right here. I feel like some of you are working on building a legacy for your family, your children, and even your grandchildren. So this is really beautiful and powerful energy, but this energy is also calling to be, be mindful of not burning yourself out. Not giving so much that you have nothing left in the tank because that's how your creativity, if you want your creativity to be on point um, and not frizzle out, it's about making sure that there is, you know, it's like if you're running a, mar if you're running a marathon, you're not going to sprint. You're going to conserve your energy and that's kind of the best analogy I can think of in this situation. So you're not going to be sprinting to the finish line because you know this is a long game and a long race. And if you want success, burning all your energy and calories in the first, you know, first little while is not going to help you down the track. And that's kind of your biggest piece of advice for 2024. Patience. So the hangman coming out in outcome, and this is a major arcana, and you've got only one major arcana that's popped up. There's nothing wrong with that. What this is saying is in 2024, try and see different points of view and have patience. If you don't have the answers, as I said at the start of your read, really calibrate and work with other people. I think your two big pieces of advice is, is long, you know, um, slow and steady wins the race and work with other people so that you get new ideas, inspiration, and you don't feel stuck. And you don't feel like you have to wait for long periods of time to get momentum or to get movement. Particularly with the Knight of Pentacles in the middle. If you are someone where patience is not your strongest suit and if you want results, you will really benefit with working with other people and tapping into their expertise to get the outcomes that you desire. Because, you know, we, we are, as much as we'd like to think we know everything, we are not really experts in everything. So this is really very much, you know, say for example, you are very good at building homes and you're very good with your hands, but you may not know anything about building websites. But if you want to advertise, just using this as an example, if you want to advertise your business, to have a website, it will take you a very long time to learn how to build a website to actually get it up and running. Whereas if you worked with someone or hired someone to build your website, your website will be done in a much quicker space and time frame, and you'll be able to start advertising and sharing your work much quicker, hence building your pentacles much quicker. So that's kind of the vibe that's coming up for 2024. These are just guidance on how this can really help you in 2024. So this is a general reading. So do take what resonates and leave the rest. So what's your abundance message? Abundance message for pile number two. Science. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. So yeah, trust your instincts. Trust your in instincts. You already know. Trust your intuition. This card is all about intuition. And it's talking about, with the King of Cups energy as well, you will be highly intuitive. So some of you, you will feel like this year you're very intuitive, you're getting messages. And also, you know, you might get a lot of creative ideas and sparks through those messages because you are highly intuitive this year. Because the King of Cups, it's a very tapped in energy. You could be also a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or dealing with one. So your romance message love and romance message for 2024 i mean the king of cups is the most loving energy in the whole tarot deck so you've got that there you go so if you are single and um waiting for love or in a relationship this card is saying that worth waiting for so this your partner is worth waiting for or if you're single this wait is worth it divine timing is all at work in your love life and I guess this is also in some ways um, clarifying the hangman. So the hangman is all about patience. So if you don't give up on love, because you never know how and when you'll meet this person. Maybe the divine is orchestrating it at a much, there is a divine plan that you can't see. So just because you can't see, it doesn't mean it's not there and doesn't mean that it's not available. And that's what this message is really saying, because you do have a lot of cards here. You could meet Spirit is giving me this message. I'll share it with you. You, In 2024, you could meet your divine counterpart 
through work connections and your creativity. So the more you spend time on your creativity, um, calibrating with other people, that's going to bring you closer to meeting the person, your person. So a couple of announcements. If you would like to be part of the 2024 full moon manifestation ritual, which is happening on the 27th of December, there is information in the communities tab, or if you'd like to get information on how to register, it is happening on the 27th Australian time because I am based in Australia and um, I follow my time zone. There is a type time frames of cutoffs. So if you'd like to be part of that to register, you can hashtag full moon below in comment section, or you can go to the communities tab. If you desire a personal reading on 2024 covering love, career and money, I'm offering a fantastic opportunity to do a personal reading on focusing on all three areas, something that I not don't normally do in a single read. So if you desire that, please head to the description box. There is a link or you can comment below hashtag personal reading and I can share the information with you. And for any of you that are desiring to come to Bali with me in April 2024, I have four spots that I am currently looking to fill. There is a wait list or an expression of interest list. So if you'd like information on that or you desire to join us, you can find the information or you can email me or it's in the communities tab. And I think that's everything. Thank you so much, pile number two. I wish you an amazing and epic 2024. And um, tap that notification bell and subscribe. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you anything. But it lets me know that you want to see more of these readings. And also, that way you get notified on all the things and don't miss out on anything. So thank you so much, pile number two. And I will see you next time. Pile number three, welcome, welcome to your reading. So pile number three, this is for you if your birthday is in the month of March, June, September or December. So how are we feeling pile number three? So I am doing a six card spread that has been channeled for this reading. If you've been in my world, you know how I work. Everything is divinely guided and downloaded. So let's see what is coming up for you in 2024 so this is your 2024 reading and i will also be pulling some oracle cards for you please do like share and subscribe if you haven't already and um, share this reading with anyone that you know enjoys tarot loves tarot and um, would like a forecast because this reading covers all the months um, all the 12 months Perfect. Okay, so now that we have your six cards, let it let us see what is your overall energy pile three. The Knight of Pentacles. Wow. So this is the year of commitment for you. The word commitment is coming up. And you may piles one and two also got the Knight of Pentacles. So you might want to see those readings as well. Let's see what is unfolding for you. But your biggest piece of advice for your energy with the knight of pentacles is patience persistence and commitment so whatever the reason why i say patience and persistence is without commitment you can't be patient and you can't be persistent so commitment is the biggest thing that you need to remember for 2024 whatever you do whether it's love whether it's money whether it's career if you don't see results stay committed stay on your path stay true this is about, you know, being authentic in what you believe to be for you. Because when you do, the fruits will be there. That's what Spirit is saying in a nutshell, that regardless, if you can't see the fruits of your labor immediately, it's coming. But you need to stay focused, persistent and committed. And what does that mean? Showing up even when you don't, don't see the results. Showing up even when it feels hard showing up when even when nothing seems to be working because you truly simply believe it in your heart and soul that this is the thing okay so what is coming towards you yeah so patience and like there is 
This is the year of patience and commitment. The hangman, he, he, this is period of waiting. So sometimes it takes longer for things to work and it's not, and I know that this is not something that you might want to hear, but I have to tell you how the cards have come out and what is showing up in your reading. And it's better you know than you don't and you feel that, you know, why is this not working? This is not saying it's not working. This is just saying there's divine timing at play. So there may be things that are happening behind the scenes that you can't see, but it just requires the divine to orchestrate things in a way that it works in your highest and best. Sometimes what we don't, well, oftentimes what we don't realize and appreciate is that delays is often protection and redirection. So sometimes if you're not getting the outcomes and things that you desire, it's because something better is on the horizon or the divine is working to protect you from people, places, situations that might not be for your highest and best. So just be mindful of that pile number three because the hangman is a my major, major arcana. The other thing is about how can you see things differently this year? I see this year as year of growth for you. A lot of growth. So when the Knight of Pentacles comes, you can see that this is all bare. There is all this greenery. So, but this growth is happening. You just can't see it yet because the seedlings haven't come out yet. And that's kind of the biggest message for you at this point in time for 2024. What you don't see coming, as I said, these words, the seven, your higher self, look at things from a higher perspective. Your, you, like with the hangman, seven of um, wands and the knight of pentacles, this is all about don't back down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't back down. If you believe in something, if then stay true, stay strong and look at it from a higher, look at the bigger picture, essentially, because see the hangman has all this light. Look at the bigger picture. Just because something is taking longer, just because something you can't see immediate results doesn't mean it's not working, essentially. That's your message. Yeah, because your ships are coming in. Three of Wands. I love this. You've got a lot of Aries, Leo, Sage energy as well in um, your reading. Um, there is some Earth element as well. So could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But there is a lot of fire energy. So whilst there are delays, there's still a lot of activity that's happening. And that's what Spirit is saying. That don't give up because you are this... It's, it's like, have you heard that story where this man, he has gold in his backyard and he's digging, 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 and then he gives up and he sells his land to the neighbor. Literally, the neighbor starts, buys the land and starts to dig. And within 100 meters of where the owner left off is where he finds the gold. So this is kind of that story. I just felt like someone needed to hear that because sometimes it's hard. It's hard when you're hold, in a holding pattern. It's hard when you can't see results. It feels difficult. It's it's hard to stay motivated and committed. And I'm 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 just going to tell you how it is because I'm in Aries and I like to yeah, I just share my messages with full truth and transparency because I know that's how it's going to help you. Sugar coating things is not going to help you. This is a great reading. But at the same time, there's a strong message of staying committed and persistent in what you believe in and also being open to looking at things from a different perspective because you will get the outcomes that you desire. That's what this is saying. Okay, in your advice. Yes, the world. The world is your oyster. Grab it with both hands and don't let go. The world is another major arcana. I love it. And what is interesting, this is number 12, this is number 21. So it's not, you might see 12, 12, 21, 21, 1 to 1. Those numbers could be very significant. You might also want to look them up on what they mean. They could hold quite significant messages for you in 2024. But the world card is the card of completion. So this with the hangman is also saying to me end of delays. So finally, if you have had lots of delays, those delays will be ending for you. But 
stay committed stay true that's how you will you know it's it's that hundred meters 50 meters away from the pot of gold from the treasure that's how close you are that's what spirit is saying here that now is not the time to throw the towel it's actually the time to gather all your energy and your resources and keep staying committed and staying true and keep going eight of pentacles your outcome so in your outcome position the eight of pentacles to me is saying that your hard work will pay off and abundance and prosperity is going to be available to you because you start with the knight and the knight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles they're two pentacles that are in your re reading pile three so this is saying to me that this is not the year that you'll be resting and doing nothing. You will have to work, yes, but your hard work will pay off, particularly with the three of wands just above the eight of pentacles. For a lot of you, you might be doing work on social media at a global platform with the world card as well. Same thing with relationship. You might be in a relationship with someone who is from a different background or culture to you or maybe in a different, from a different country or far away from you with these two cards so let's pull you some divine abundance cards but 2024 is the year of growth for you your biggest piece of advice is the word growth keeps coming up with commitment you let me know how as you see fit in comments two cards want to come out i'm going to take that detachment green tara with detachment, you will finally feel holy inside, with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it is fulfilled. Exactly. So surrender. Surrender the outcome. Don't get so fixated that it hasn't happened. When will it happen? When The, the more you... It, that's going to constrict the energy and it is going to cause more delays. But if you detach and surrender, it will happen before you know it divine flow this is exactly why the divine as i said is orchestrating claim this in comments the divine is orchestrating something even more magical and beyond your wildest dreams eventually one sublime desires take precedence over all others to follow the Tao, the divine flow at all costs so trust your intuition and trust the divine because everything is working exactly how it should that's what that card is saying let's get you some romance cards love and romance cards for pile number three for my beautiful pile three finance and career wow i can't make that up it's popped up again financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so i feel like 2024 your focus is more on your career your finances stability and security that's the biggest message and um, the more you get that stability the more it's going to help with your love life because if you are not feeling centered and secure it's that energy comes off when you're looking for love or when you're in a relationship but when you are feeling stable grounded and secure people feel that energetically and are attracted and magnetized towards you pile three i have a couple of announcements that i would like to make this is your year of commitment and growth so commit to yourself even before you can commit to a job a relationship money or anything else commit to yourself that's your single biggest piece of advice and look at things from different perspectives because you will be successful in whatever it is that you're doing so the first announcement is if you desire to be part of the 2024 manifestation full moon ritual that is happening on the 27th of december australian time i'm in australia the information for that is in the communities tab or you can hashtag full moon in comments below and i can send you the information on how to register it is a registered event this is where we we set our manifestations and intentions for 2024 it's going to be highly powerful and potent and i'm running this ritual i have been running rituals for a very long period of time if you an og you know that if you've been in my world for a very long period of time you would know that second announcement is i'm currently offering 2024 personal readings which cover three areas of career love and money if you desire a personal reading 
for 2024 that covers all three areas. The link to book is in the description box or you can comment personal reading and I can share the information with you. The final announcement is Bali applications are closing on the 31st of January. I have received a lot of people interested in joining me in Bali, but I only have four spots available. So if you are desiring to join me and other epic humans on a mind, body, soul trip for a week in Bali, email me or just hashtag Val Bali and I can send you all the information um, by email. But the best way to find that is to, if you email me, my email address and details are all in the description box. If you desire to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, donate to my channel, attend or come to all these things, all the information is in the description box and the communities tab. So if you haven't hit subscribe and the notification bell, it's completely free. I cannot stress this. It's completely free, but what that does, it lets me know you want to see more of these readings and it lets you know when the next reading becomes available and all these other beautiful, amazing things that are happening on the channel. That way you never miss out on anything. So thank you to everybody for being here. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for all your likes, subscribes, donations and all the things. And remember the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.